This is problem number three from section 3.4. In this problem it says, the equation for free fall at the surface of a celestial body in outer space, s in meters, t in seconds, is s equals 11.75 t squared. How long does it take a rock falling from rest to reach a velocity, velocity of 27.4 meters per second on this celestial body in outer space. They're asking us how long does it take, so what's the time for us to reach this velocity? They give us a distance equation. I know I can take S equals 11.75 T squared, which is our uh, body's position or distance here, and we can take the derivative of that to get the velocity. So velocity is S prime, and we know that to be 23.5, bring the two to the front, that's uh, 23.5 t. So take the derivative of this, bring the two to the front, we end up with 23.5 t. I'll write that a little better. All right, so now that we have 23.5 t for our velocity, they want us to see how long does it take for this uh, rock to reach that velocity. So we're going to substitute 27.4 into the velocity equation. And then we're going to say that, that equals, so 27.4 equals 23.5 t. We can now divide by 23.5 to get the time. And when we divide by 23.5, we get t equals 1.165. Let's round that at the tenths place, so we end up with 1.2 seconds equals the time. And that's our answer. It takes 1.2 seconds for us to go from uh, 0 to 27.4 meters per second.